What's going on everybody? Jordan Stoltz here, back with another video. Morning Piper. It's 8.30 this morning, headed over to the yard uh, to start loading some wheat up. So we're going to start the morning by taking a couple loads of wheat into town. Still having trucks come as they were in the last video for the barley. Um, we want to use our own trucks to get the wheat in. We're almost done with this bin. We're trying to get this stuff started and into town before it gets too sloppy out. With the weather now being more in the high 30s, low 40s, and even 50 this weekend, we're kind of dealing with the slop, which will take over the snow and the ice, but we really don't want to slop up the trucks too bad. So we're getting it while the gravel is still dry and it's not too muddy yet. Loading some trucks, doing some trucking, and getting a new couch for the farmhouse. That's what today holds. Stay tuned. potential for slop here by the loading zone this is all ice and on Friday this was pretty bad slop so that's why we want to get this thing loaded and finished up and into town before it gets too warm out this is the truck we're taking in first the Kenworth it's not all the way full yet but there isn't too much to go over the course of the last several days we've kind of emptied out this wheat bin and this is all we have left. So like I said earlier, this bin has a grain sweep in it. So that is very, very nice. Saves our backs a lot. We don't have to shovel very much when this thing's in here. This is just pretty much automatically going around the bin like the drag augers do, moving all the grain into the center pit and into the trucks. It just leaves this small amount of wheat left on the floor. So really quickly before I take this truck into town, I'm going to just kind of pound on the sides, get all the grain to fall off of the nuts and the ladder and everything like that. And then I'm just gonna sweep up the floor, shovel the sides where there's a little bit of pile up and uh, just kind of finish off with the grain sweep can't get. And then I'll auger that up into the truck and off to town we go. So sit back and enjoy me sweeping this big wheat bin. Shouldn't be too bad. Glad we have the grain sweep in this one because this is a pretty big bin. That'll do. Just gotta run the augers now, get this stuff loaded up in the truck. We're good to go.
Ready to go truck? Come on. Act a little more excited. It is getting sloppy already. That bin is cleaned out, ready to go. Kenworth probably isn't all the way full. I'll let you guys know the weight when we get there. Hoping for like 50,000 pounds, but it's probably 40,000 or something like that. But we're done. The bin is empty. We got two trucks to haul in. Peterbilt is all the way full. Kenworth is partially full. I'm gonna take the Kenworth in first since it's warmed up. And uh, that'll conclude the wheat hauling for right now anyways. Trying to beat the slop. Let's roll. First load of the day, which was the last little bit in that bin, has been taken in. It was a good amount on the sheet here. Got 41,840 pounds on that load. So actually pretty good if we were shooting for 50,000 for a full load. Got that decently full. The Peterbilt is a full load. I'm about to take that in right here next, right before lunch, um, and then get this wheat finished up before I head to town and get a couch. So load number two. Let's go. Okay, second load of wheat is in, and the last load for that bin. So that's pretty neat. So the rest of the afternoon, now that the wheat is hauled in, is gonna look like kind of some not farm related things. We bought a new couch or a love seat actually for our family room. So I'm gonna go into town and pick that up in the pickup. Gotta get some iced coffee because of this warm weather. Then at four o'clock, and maybe a little bit after four, we have two trucks coming to get more barley. So they're coming to pick up two more loads today. We hauled in our two wheat loads. Wheat is done, bin is cleaned out, and more barley is going out today. So time for lunch right now, then heading to the big city for this little furniture pickup. Stay tuned. Can I just get a large black iced coffee, please? Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, sir. Thank you. 
Okay, folks, couch is in the truck, kind of. The tailgate didn't shut, so kind of a balancing act here. A little intense flying down the highway with this couch just kind of hanging there without any kind of back on the pickup here, but we should be good, cross my fingers. Worst case, I get a more exciting video with the couch flying out of the pickup. Best case, the couch gets into our family room without a hitch, so. That is what's going on, just driving back home now uh, with this couch and I'll unload it shortly. I'll be home in 30 or 40 minutes and call it good from there. And we're getting pretty dang close to dinner time, which I'm looking forward to. So stay tuned if the couch falls out of the pickup. You might even know from the title if it happened or not. Let's get home. We made it. Now time to get in the house. All right, folks, the couch is in the house. Move the furniture around. Got it in myself, so pretty proud of that. Looks pretty good. I'll show you guys someday. It is sloppy out. As you can see, I started the video talking about how it was gonna be sloppy and that we needed to haul that wheat early, which we did. The second truck for the barley just left as well as I was loading the couch in, so we're good to go for the day. That's the end of another video. Thank you for watching. I'm slipping and sliding through the mud. I better focus on my walking. I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next video. Peace out.